Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Coming to you from Las Vegas, Nevada. We are down here all week for SHOT Show. If you're down here and you see us, hey, come on by and say hello. Illinois, it's time to talk again. We need to have a serious talk. Now listen, we've been through an awful lot together for a lawyer in Washington State and all of you folks out in Illinois, and I feel like I really have a, a connection, a bond with all of you. And I, I hope at this point, you at least trust some of my judgment and where I'm coming from because I've never really told any of you how to think. I just try to give you all the stuff to think about. Well, it appears that some of you got really, really interested in registering your firearms after the deadline. In fact, I'm a little shocked at the numbers I just found on the Illinois State Police website. And I think we need to have a little talk. I think you need to do a little soul searching. Some of you might even need to have your head examined. So today, Let's spend a few minutes and let's talk about Illinois. What in the world are you doing? Okay, so like I said, we're going to be talking about Illinois scary assault weapon ban state registry, which as you know, opened up on October 1st of 2023. And all of you who own one of those scary assault weapons needed to have it registered by the end of midnight, December 31st, 2023. You had it the, until the end of the calendar year. Now, many of you did do it, but quite a few of you did not. Kudos to you. However, it appears that some of you got cold feet after the statutory deadline and decided to go ahead and register these firearms. We have updated numbers from the Illinois State Police Department. So let me just share those with you first before I get to my little diatribe that I have right now. Okay, according to new Illinois State Police Department data from January 1st to January 16th of this year, there was 5,867 individuals who completed a registration for a total of 18,532 registrations a total of 11,161 firearms, 7,277 accessories, and an additional 94 ammunition affidavits. And listen, when you take a look at the number of individuals who registered and the number of items that were actually registered, you guys are averaging 3.16 items per late registrant. Now, this is what I want everyone in Illinois to think about. Your governor hates you. Your state legislature hates you, your attorney general hates you, and you know that they would love nothing more than to run around that state and start rounding up all of these scary assault weapons. However, what is the category of individual who most likely would be the first victim of a gun confiscation? Hmm, let's see. Well, it might be the person who actually told government where you could find the firearms. It might be the person who actually told the government exactly what kind of firearms they have and where they could be located. And it's also the person who, in writing, pointed out to the Illinois state government that they actually registered these things late in violation of the Protect Illinois Communities Act. Now, there's been a lot of debate about whether or not your governor has the cojones to do it and whether or not there are enough law enforcement officers in the state of Illinois willing to risk their lives to do this. But I can assure you, Illinois, if ever there is going to be a confiscation effort in your state, the number one category of individuals who are most likely going to get their firearms confiscated are the individuals who actually, in writing, prove to the state of Illinois that they were in violation of Illinois law. Illinois, I know I don't tell you how to think very often. I just try to give you all the stuff to think about, but I'm going to give you a piece of free advice. Knock it off. Knock it off right now. If you are registering firearms past the deadline, you might as well just put them into the trunk of your car and drive them down to your local police department and turn them in. Because if ever there is a confiscation effort, you will be first on the list. Listen, we're gonna go ahead and link up all the numbers down below, including some really interesting county by county data that the Illinois State Police Department has also released. We will keep you posted as we always have here at Washington Gun Law about any other things related to this absolutely atrocious piece of legislation. And we will find out whether or not the state of Illinois really has the guts to do what they say they're gonna do. In the meantime, if you guys got any other questions about this or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights, you should know how to get a hold of Washington Gun Law by now. If you don't, that's okay. That information is right down there in the description box. Now, in the meantime, let's everyone remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. 
from Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks for watching and stay safe.